Clara Wop Angels podcast here. I'm Clara. I'm Angeline. I'm Lottie. We are here today with Angeline's build. Oh my goodness, this one was so fun. It was for a cute little military family who was moving into that, you know, place way up high in Strangerville that overlooks the whole town. Oh, really? And the biggest uh. view they have, obviously, is like that road that goes up to their little gated place. Yeah. And bluffs and like, I don't know what there is out there, like rigs for drilling or something? Something. I mean, I haven't really gone up to explore too much, but I do know that there is such a beautiful sunset. Such a beautiful sunset. Oh, I know. It's so nice. So they wanted to keep with the Victorian theme of the neighborhood, of but course. give it their own twists as well. Yeah, a little quirky twist. No one wants to be like everyone else. Exactly. So they had like little weird details, and they were very particular about the colors they wanted on borders and things. And I was like, y'all just stand back and let me do my magic. I got this figured out. By the time I'm done, it will look good. I love it. I love the rich blue. Thank I you. Know. I'm I was, loving it. I was very adamant about needing to be one color scheme because sometimes it's very hard to like match your frames with your borders, with your windows, with your doorways. Like it's, it's so well, true. Well, when I think like a Victorian house, I think opulence, but also um, very sturdy, sturdy and details. Yeah. You know? So you've got like a nice like wrought iron, and then you have. A rich color to tie it all in. You gotta have some points and some curls. And you have uh, to have, you know, a little bit of like a sharp contrast. Like I'm talking that purpley color, a blue. Yeah. They really have to pop. And y'all know that I'm not the biggest fan of dark colors. I really am not. She is not, y'all. She I loves like pastels. pastels. Mm -hmm. I like, you know, to be able to see if a bug has crawled into my house. That's so true. true. That's why I like Watson and Lot Tails. Oh, you know. My goodness. Honestly. You but that's, that. you know, part of the problem of living out in the... I think I got traumatized when we lived in the swamp. I really think I did. You did. But anyway, this place, there's these big beetles that go flying by this place. They do. Oh, no. You know what the conspiracy people are saying? What? They're saying that those are what little drones and they're listening in on you. Oh, my goodness. Oh, like, what? You know, I don't like oh, to no. be listening in on, but I prefer listening in but to being bit bug. by a big old bug. Exactly, but you didn't think a drone would bite someone, do you? Because I heard... A story that it bit someone and they no. were feeling cranky all day. <gasps> no. Really? They got bit Girl. by a bug? I did not know that. That's horrifying. Did they swell up or anything? I don't know. I think that they were just miserable from it. I don't yeah. think that it was an itchy bite. It might have been so painful. So it's like, you know, like oh, symptoms it. versus like showing them. Maybe it exactly. affected their brain. <gasps> So true. I mean, I wouldn't put it past this town. This town is crazy. There is nothing yeah. good coming out of half the stuff in this town. If you can imagine it, it's happening. Except you our know? builds, because this is looking gorgeous. Oh, oh thank you. So I love true. that. That little porch up there. Because it's Victorian, I had to spend an inordinate amount of time doing the whole exterior of the place. Oh, my like, gosh. That is such a spiffy word. It really is. Thank you. I hope I used it wrong. You know what? To me, you did, because I... Totally Thank you. Exactly. Thank you. I love that roof detail. Oh. Don't you just love the Victorian roofs, you know? I really I do. do. I hate roofing. I really do. It's like you're just looking for a lot in them to strike you and then you become a witch or something. You know? It's like a magical sort of looking house is all I'm saying, you know? Well, thank Witchy you. Witchy houses, you know? Yeah. I love that you made a carved roof. I have such trouble roofing. I really do too, and I feel like it's the challenge of it that's really been inspiring me. I like that you think that way. I need to. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, have it be done. I'm oh. over it. Sometimes you're like, I'd rather just have a square house so I can put a square roof on top. I know, like I'll fence a roof and just be like, it's a flat roof. It's like a little apartment building. <laughs> well, sometimes when I'm building on a budget, which this was a budget, I get very frustrated because I want to do things and then I'm like, well, this is a waste of my 
cash right now, but maybe in the future they'll earn enough money and call me back to do something, you know? I, know. I hate that feeling, because you know they're not calling you. They're doing it themselves. And it's getting all messed up. Yeah. So you like to give someone a finished house they can just leave as is. Yeah, I, I agree. I love this wallpaper. It's got that sort of iridescence where it, like, hits the light yeah. right. Yeah. I, I love that. It broadens it up a lot. It took yeah. me a very long time to decide, like, what looks good for wow, this all though. All those colors together. Thank you. I wanted to do, you know, very bright, very saturated, you know? Yeah. That's another thing, too, about a Victorian house is the archways that always look into rooms with different colored wallpaper. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like, you know, showing your riches. Yeah, you don't want to just leave, like, a mystery. You don't want to shut it up. And There are the ones that have a it. lot of shut doors, and those are the creepy ones, you know? They are, because they're they like, what's going dusty. on? You know, there's a ghost exactly. in that room. That room's shut off. There is a ghost. Someone, you know, off themselves in that room, and there's yeah. a ghost in there. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> goodness. You know? That's, That's what I'll think of when I see a true. Old house with a lot of doors that and are locked. And what I'm thinking, too, is like, okay, there's going to be one of those creepy ghosts. An angry ghost. That's coming at you with oh some goodness. sort of something. Oh, it's coming like at you. like an old-fashioned nightgown with yes. a sleeping cap and, and a candle in their hand. Exactly. They're going to hit you with. That's what I was going to say, a candle. A candlestick. Yes. A candelabra. Or they're distracting you with the candle and you're looking at it. And meanwhile, they reach into your chest and tear out your heart. Oh, my oh, goodness. Gosh. I could see this happening. That's why I've put a lot of openness in this place. I've been watching way too many scary movies lately. Oh, no. It's the weather. It's like when you're between winter and spring, it feels like fall. Yeah. So you're like, <gasps> Isn't it true that sometimes you can't watch scary movies during a scary season because it's almost too raw to it's you. It's too you know? raw. If you feel like you're summoning something almost, I don't want to yeah. say that because then I'll feel like I will. But, <gasps> but uh, that is true. But if you're watching them in the summertime and the springtime, you can you go, know, outside. go outside and have the fresh air and the yeah. breeze in your hair. You have oh. warm coming on the way instead of going away. And uh, it feels sort of like a party, like you're sort of like doing something out of the norm. Yeah. Exactly. Whereas when you're doing it during the season, you feel like you're doing something for a goal. Yeah, it's true. Even it's... though I still watch during the season. Oh, please. You know oh, us. We course. love it. Your cute little rooms. Oh, there's Hi. two little toddlers in this family. Aww. This family, let me tell you about them. They're very cute. Please do. They have two kids that are from former romances. Okay. And they have the same hair color as the person they got married to, so it looks like the kid is for the other one. If that makes sense. It makes complete sense. It makes sense. sense yeah. yeah. So the father has like brown hair. Brown hair and, and his the child has a different color hair. Yeah, yeah. And the mother has black hair, so this the father's son has her <laughs> hair color. It's just the cutest thing it to me. It makes uh, complete sense They're to out me. playing me in the too. yard, right? And I'm like, Oh, is that your daughter? And then they were like, Oh, it's the other way around. And I was like, I would never have guessed it. You but look also, like you had them together. I mean, the other way around is like, you'd never catch Ronan being like, Oh, that's not my daughter. Even you know though, what I mean? Wow. That's rude. Oh, no. oh goodness. I mean, yeah, it's cute in a way. And then you're like, That's rude. Claim the child. Claim them both. Claim yeah, yeah. Them in their defense, they do, but in that situation, that sounds very rude. It I'm going to have to send them a little letter. Me too. Because it's your address. child now, you know? Wrong. Neither one of them has a parent that claims the children or either. Or be careful what you're saying, because little ears are hearing. You know how Russell uh, insists on stealing your babies away for the weekend? Yeah. Well, no one takes their babies away for the weekend. They don't have oh, anyone they don't have that's... that wants them. Yeah, yeah. It's sad. That is sad. You know, when you're... It's hard for kids to be torn into two houses, but it's important that they, you know... Feel loved in both yeah. houses. Yeah. It's true. You don't want to be sending them somewhere they're not. Exactly. Like, I would fight for that if Russell was just like, man, yeah, I just want them because. You know what I mean? But just he loves I them. Yeah, he does. He's, you know. What? He's, he's evil. A, he's a troublemaker. He is. But he's a troublemaker. I'm like, do you really love him or do you, you know, just, just hate want me? Just want to hack. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. We'll find out. It's true. I'm going to take him back to court. Oh, that's a good idea, girl. You know, he had me when I was going to, what do you, what do you call it? 
I was I was away. Yeah, was you were away. Uh, yeah, yeah. So he had me. You were helpless. But things I'm have not changed. Anymore. Things have changed. Exactly. I love this old porch. Me no. too. I love that part ball with the blue. They sit up there, the kids do, while they're eating. Oh, are you kidding me? It's the cutest. I bet they're the cutest little things. They are. They sit up there while they're eating, and then in the back, you know, they can just play chess, do yoga, whatever they want to do. Yeah. It's so cute. Kids love eating. They really do. Well, yeah. some kids do. It's really hard to get Lock Fernie to eat. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh no, yeah. Fernie likes to Your run around. Clarlene loves to eat. Oh, uh, she could sit there and eat all day. You know, it's so cute. My two kids, they love to eat too. I love that they porch. Eat popcorn. Thank you. If you have toddlers, pop down a popcorn maker. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Just make popcorn every day. Especially if you have multiple toddlers. They just yeah. grab it themselves. They do. It makes it a dream. Make sure it's where they can reach make it. Make sure that it's not like caramel corn y'all yeah because they will get a sugar crash and it's yeah, terrible it's terrible what is this little shed this is a you know they told they came to me and said you know eventually we'd like to open a gym oh really yeah so this is the future side of their gym <gasps> what a flashy gym yeah oh, what wow. is that Anton. That is um, one of those roll-up doors for moving the exercise equipment in and out. Oh, wow. Is there a little DJ booth in there? There is. Um, oh, my goodness. They insisted on keeping that, so I thought I'd just put it in their gym. I love that. Their house isn't big enough for it, you know? No. They were on a budget. Otherwise, I would have made them a DJ room. Of course. You can't leave a DJ booth out in the rain, though, which I, you know, debated <gasps> for a minute. What happens to it? You know, it rains and it doesn't work anymore. Nice. And there's the front entryway with the, you know, view. Wow. There's a little bar. I love that table. Me too. Hey. It's quirky. And that's where they, you know, listen to music and work on the computer. She's a runner. Oh. And there's... That's like purple and pink. Wow, that's, that's so lit. pretty. Wow. It's like a mermaid scale up in here. Wow. That is so cute. It's mermaid scale home, y'all. That's their big dining table. Wow. That is nice. It's homey, but, you know. This is their upstairs TV space, you know. How cute. That's a little girl's room. Oh, oh how sweet. I want another little girl. And that's the little that's boy's you. room. Oh. That's the parent's room. It's very plain right now. I love all this. What are those carpets? That's nice. Aren't they cute? They're gorgeous. Here we go again. Master another, bath. Another pop of color. Ah. Uh, there's the porch. Oh, wow. Of the TV I would room spend all my day. I'm so the into porch. that purple and blue theme you have going on. Well, thank you. you can tell by the flowers. It's they just were, so nice, you know, girl. Thank you. Sometimes it's hard for me to limit my palette, but it always pays off. It does. It really does. I just love how this has turned out. And then you can have DJ while someone's pumping iron or whatever they call it. <laughs> yeah, that, that would really be a selling point for a gym. I'd go. Me too, actually. Uh, good work, Angeline. Thank you. Gorgeous. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.